What up, YouTubers? Mr. First Class here for the win. Today's video, I'm going to show you my Full Health 33 Lock Plasma Caster build. This is my absolute favorite all purpose and daily driver build. With the addition of a few consumables and chems, you can do this. But first, let's take a look at my gear. Here it is. This weapon is insane. Don't expect crazy DPS because you will be disappointed. However, it has high damage output and the crits literally melt enemies. The main legendary effect is anti-armor, which is a must-have for this build, and it ignores 50% of your target's armor primarily for taking on bosses. Next up, we have 90% reduced weight because I carry a few heavy weapons, and lastly, replenish 15 action points with each kill because this gun literally drains a ton of AP. As for mods, Prime Capacitor for max damage and the bonus of 35% damage to Scorched Beasts and Scorched, a line sniper barrel for less AP cost, standard sights, and industrial paint, but you can use whatever you prefer. Because this is a full health build, and to achieve 33 luck, you will need 5 pieces of armor each with the legendary effect of plus 1 luck to achieve crits every other shot. Here I'm using the Brotherhood Recon armor, easily one of the best armor in the game. There is definitely better under armor in the game with the likes of Enclave, Brotherhood, or Secret Service, but to hit 33 luck, I sacrifice damage resistance in favor of the plus 2 luck the standard Vault 76 jumpsuit provides. Make sure to mod it with shielded lining as this provides you the most damage resistance. Get yourself Eagle Eyes, which gains you a staggering crit damage of plus 75%. Moving on to my perk cards, and first on the list, we have Strong Back, gain an additional plus 30 to carry weight. Next up, Bear Arms. Heavy guns weigh 30% less as I carry a number of heavy weapons along with me. These are the necessary cards you must equip, are the Heavy Gunner perks, all three of them. Master, Heavy, and Expert. These are the necessary cards you must equip. Now in Perception, we have Concentrated Fire, level 3. Vats target limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. And Glow Sights. It's great for daily events like Radiation Rumble. Under Endurance, we got Rejuvenated Maxed Out, Life Giver for Max Health and Tankiness, and Chem Fiend. Any chems you take last 100% longer. Under Charisma, we have Strength in Numbers, which boosts my mutations, Travel Agent, which is pretty standard, and Tenderizer Maxed Out for maximum damage. Under Intelligence, we have Power User Rank 1, Fusion Cores now last 30% longer, Stabilize Maxed Out for more damage when using Power Armor, and Batteries Included Maxed Out because we are carrying a lot of ammo. Really, do we have Action Boy Maxed Out for Action Point Regeneration, Evasive for Tankiness, Gun Fu Rank 2 for Max Damage when Swapping Enemies, Adrenaline Maxed Out for Max Damage, and Through Hiker Rank 1 because I carry around a lot of consumables. Under Luck, we have Bloody Mess maxed out for max damage, Better Criticals maxed out, it's a VATS build and provides 100% damage on crits, Class Freak maxed out for reduced negative effects of your mutations, Starch Genes, right away will never cure mutations, swap this out if you don't have any, Critical Savvy for hitting crits every other shot, and Good with Salt, rank 1 for all the consumables I carry with me. For Legendary cards, I have Strength rank 4, mostly for carry weight, Electric Absorption for tankiness, Taking one for the team, Rank 3 for ultimate damage, intelligence maxed out for experience points, agility for maximum action points, and luck so that my base luck is 20 just with perk cards equipped. Without the use of any consumables, chems, bobbleheads, or magazines, my base luck sits at 26. Now I'll demonstrate how to reach the magic number of 33, which you can do in various ways. One of the easiest ways is to head over to the fortune teller machine which will boost your luck with an additional plus two. Next up is the seared venison with berries. I'm a herbivore. This recipe boosts my luck additionally with plus six luck. It's easy to craft if you've unlocked the Radstag field dressing station from the current season. Next, head over to Black Mountain Ordnance Work for starlight berries with green thumb equipped. I prefer this location. It has a number of starlight plants to harvest. If you're a newer player, it's void of high-level enemies, so feel free to scout around. Now, if you don't have the armor pieces with additional luck like me, you can still reach 33 luck with just Nuka-Cola alone. The luck effect wears off fast, but will last long enough to get you through events, as long as you carry plenty of Nuka-Cola Dark and spam them as needed. For this, you will just need to swap out a few cards. Equip Cola Nut, Party Boy, and Happy Go Lucky. With my build, my base luck was 26, and after consuming Nuka-Cola Dark, 
it significantly boosted my luck to 44. So even if your base luck is 20 without the 5 pieces of armor or even the under armor, Nuka Cola Dark will boost your luck plus 18, raising it to 38. For demonstration purposes, and first up, we have the monstrous deviant of nature, the one and only glowing behemoth I call Shopping Cart Carl. Thank you, Carl, for volunteering your face for the purpose of this demonstration. For reference, you can stack a number of crit bonuses as I have shown under the effects tab. Blight Soup for plus 50% crit damage, Overdrive for plus 25% critical damage, and Tesla Science for plus 100% crit damage. Now it's the Murloc Queen's turn to get mowed down. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked their video, help out a guy by subscribing, commenting, or simply just smashing the like button to show that you liked their video. See you in the next one.